Continuing coverage, people continue to have problems with Bay City Bridge Partners. As we've reported, pay-by-mail invoices have started to hit mailboxes and people are coming forward with issues with them. tv 5 James Felton went to the Bay City Bridge Partners downtown office where he encountered many people fed up with their experience. James? Bay City Bridge Partners tells us right now it's all hands on deck in an effort to lower customer service times. I just know the lineup was too long to wait. Bernice Shelligy came to the Bay City Bridge Partners Customer Service Center to dispute what she calls an incorrect charge for crossing the Liberty Bridge. Shelligy says the line inside was enough to make her turn around and leave. I'll have to come back some other time. Same goes for Cuckallan resident Carolyn. She didn't give us her last name. She thinks BCBP can do more to streamline customer service. They could open more windows. You know, they had two open, but I understand a lot of people have more problems than that. Most people I talked to decided to wait things out. Anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes, they said, including Bay City resident Travis Maxson, who says spirits inside were good. For the most part, everybody that was waiting in line was in a fairly decent mood, and everybody was talking to each other, and they were all saying, well, I'm not going to go over that bridge again, you know. And we were just kind of joking around, but, uh, you know, I said this is the new community center, you know. But Darlene Rakowski says that wasn't the case when she stopped by earlier this week. I felt sorry for the, those people that are trying to help take care of it because people were sitting there. And that one man, that 50 bucks, he was screaming at that, at that woman, you know, and that's not really the right approach either. For its part, BCBP says right now, because of pay-by-mail invoices, customers are experiencing longer-than-average wait times. Going on to say that in addition to addressing customer questions and concerns about existing accounts and resident discounts, we are serving customers creating a BC Pass account and getting transponders for the first time. Although there were prior communications urging everyone to create their account before invoicing began, the receipt of a bill in the mail is creating a higher demand for customer service assistance. As for Shelligy, she wants the next time she shows up to the customer service center to be the last time. I hope well, we can get this corrected so I don't have to come back again. Bay City Bridge Partners is encouraging anyone who has a question or concern to stop by their customer service center on 300 Center Avenue in Bay City. Reporting in the studio, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. All right, James, thanks. On Tuesday, the general manager of operations at Bay City Bridge Partners said reversing higher rate charges is an easy fix.